so in the last episode, I was thinking of a few trades to make, right? I was thinking about trading out custom player, Pav, or even Dwayne Hendricks, and just finding a deal that would make our team that much more better heading into the postseason. But ladies and gentlemen, I decided to do nothing. That's right, I decided to stand pat. I didn't resign anybody else. We passed the contract extension deadline. Also, we passed the trade deadline. So we are now kicking it into high gears. We get ready to head towards the postseason. But before we continue, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, aka Prince Anthony, aka Prince of YouTube right here, bro. Prince of YouTube right here. I just have to say that once again. Anyways, let's keep this rebuild going. Last EP, we destroyed the Minnesota Timberwolves. And we got past the All-Star break. I literally simulated like another month. And we're almost to the end of the season. We're literally almost to the end of the season. I couldn't think of any more moves I wanted to make in terms of this roster. In terms of trades, as of right now. And I'm just going to keep the team as it is. In all honesty. But up next, we are going to be facing off against the Portland Trailblazers. It's a nationally televised game. Before we do anything, I got to show you guys our roster heading into the postseason. This is our final roster heading in to the NBA playoffs. We got my son, Al Farouk Aminu, the vet on the squad. We also have Kadeem Allen, Ken Birch, my son Shaquille Harrison, Willie Colley Stein, Josh Hart, that's my guy right there, Dort, Kyle Kuzma, Monte Morris, my son Pop, who has been balling out this season he is now an 81 overall dude has really been beasting as of late Kelly Oubre Jr. Dwayne Hendricks our other custom player he has been he's really a lit defender that's all I gotta say Brandon Ingram who's injured I'll get to that in a second though Brandon Clark Bradley Beal <sighs> Brandon Ingram High right ankle sprain, six to four. I said six to four. Four to six weeks. See, just looking at this is getting me upset and messing up my commentary right now. That's really insane to think about. He's out four to six weeks, but I'm kind of happy that this injury happened recently during all these games that I simulated because he's going to be back in time for the playoffs, and that's all that really matters. This right here is another reason why I decided to stand pat and go into the offseason with the way our roster is looking right now. As you can see, next offseason, we are going to have $41 million in cap space, and we have a lot of our good players re-signed already. Pav, rookie contract. Kyle Kuzma is coming back next year. Brandon Clark, who I gave a pretty good-sized contract to, is coming back. Dwayne Hendricks, Bradley Beal, Brandon Ingram, even got Shaquille Harrison coming back as well, and my son Kadeem Allen. So our roster is looking good, and in terms of who we're going to target during free agency, I want to go after John Morant and Marvin Bagley, but... I think John Morant and Marvin Bagley are both, they're both going to be like restricted free agents. So our main focus in the offseason is more than likely going to be De'Aaron Fox. More than likely it has to be him. He's on a max deal and right now the New York Knicks is trash. So if anybody, if there is anyone that we could trade for, it has to be De'Aaron Fox, bro. He does not want to stay in New York. Nobody could convince me that he wants to stay in New York. And we're going to be pursuing him come free agent time. Or the offseason, I should say, not free agency. And taking a look at the standings, because I never get a chance to actually go through the standings with you guys. Right now, we are the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. 36 W so far, bro. 36 and 21. I feel like we're going to finish in the top five for sure. We're going to be facing off against the Portland Trailblazers in this episode. I got to see what Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum got. And looking at the rest of the Western Conference, the Houston Rockets 15 and 41. I don't know what's going on there in Houston. They got Westbrook, Harden, Eric Gordon. And you mean to tell me they're the worst team in the NBA right now? Well, at least in the Western Conference. I don't remember how the Eastern Conference is looking. But in the West, worst team in the Western Conference. That's insane right there. Ladies and gentlemen, comment if I should trade for James Harden. <laughs> Listen, you could never be too sure. I am making sure that we don't have a lot of practice days heading into the postseason because look at our team chemistry. Our team chemistry is already high. So I'm spreading out the practices and I'm giving us a lot more rest days because I'm not trying to have somebody get injured. You guys remember Brandon Clark got injured during like practice before when I first started this series. Like, yeah, I don't want that to happen again. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to beautiful Washington as we get ready to face off against the Portland Trailblazers. This is going to be a lit game. Although we don't have my son Brandon Ingram, this is going to be lit. So I already know Pav and Bradley Beal. 
compared to Lillard and CJ, yeah, that's definitely a better backcourt. Bradley Beal is really going to have to put this team on his back this game, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that's how this game is going to go. Anyways, Trailblazers, Washington Wizards. Let's go, Wizards. We got this, baby. Was our home court advantage always an A-? minus? I think it was like a B something. Oh, we actually won the tip. You guys already know what that means. We attacking the basket right away. Bradley Beal. <laughs> oh, wait, Lillard launching a three. Thank you. Thank you for not letting him get that easy bucket. But anyways, let's see what we got in this possession. I might go to Bradley Beal on every possession since we don't have Brandon Ingram. Bradley Beal. Can we please not let this dude score? Lillard right past Monte Morris and got an and one. Okay. He just hit a three-pointer, and now we're going to let Damian Lillard start cooking, and then we're not going to be able to stop him. Great. Can you guys please play some defense on Lillard? I might put Bradley Beal on Lillard. Right now, he's cooking. Bradley Beal, eight points to start this game. I'm bringing in my second unit, though. But let's see. Trying to run that pick and roll. Getting it inside to Kuzma. He got it. Oh, boy. Lillard about to cook Morris. Look at this. Throwing it up with the left hand. Could not get that shot to go. Why did he throw it up with the left? Anyways, here comes Dort driving to the basket. Who's this open in the corner? Hart for three. Won't go. But Dort right there with the tip in. And we Caruso to the rim. And look at this lead. Just like that. The Portland Trailblazers having an 11-point lead. Right now, we're not scoring. Getting the inside to Willie Colleystein. Maybe that could give us a burst there. We're swarming him right now. Yeah, McCollum's not making that. Look at that. Excellent block. I see you, Monte Morris. Please do not miss the dunk. Oh, I'll take the layup. I'll take those two points. Listen, at first... Wait, who's guarding McCollum? Okay, he misses. Let's go. We're still in this game. P.S. Compulsion is never out of a game, bro. I don't care what nobody tells me. Here comes Morris inside to Kyle Kuzma. That's an easy dunk on the baby. He could not hold I mean, our offense is starting to get rolling. Oh, Derrick Jones Jr. launched a contested shot and got that shot to go. Okay. Every time I feel like we're cutting into this lead, we end up going back down as Bradley Beal gets the dunk. I'm glad he got that dunk, but I'm not hyped right now because I don't know what my team is doing. Bradley Beal is literally the only person scoring. Come on, bro. Do better. Let's see what the Portland Trailblazers just got in this possession. What kind of defense are we playing? We're not playing no defense at all. That's what kind of defense we're playing. <sighs> Back down by 12. Let's see if I can get an easy bucket. Ratchet. All the way to the basket. Getting the beautiful in one. But I'm not going to get height until we cut this lead down to at least five. As he can what I realized. I think Damian Lillard played most of this game. Anyways, oh, there we go. Turnover by Lilla to start the second half. I see you, Brandon Clark. Maybe that could get... We're still in this game. We just need to keep racking up on stops. Here's Lillard. He's probably going to pull up. Block that. There we go. Excellent defense. Getting the ball to Kelly Oubre Jr. I see you, Bradley Beal. Another dunk for Beal. He is getting to the basket with ease this game. Another jam. Oh, yeah, this is an easy layup. Matter of fact, nah, I'm probably going to get blocked. I will take the dunk instead. Look at that. Perfect offense. You got to wait for your opportunity. I passed up a low percentage shot for a high percentage shot. Actually, a layup is a high percentage shot. But in that situation, I probably would have got blocked. Oh, Lillard stepping back for three. Come on. Time out, bro. This dude is ridiculous. Bring in the double for Lillard, and I forgot about Clark. Wow, I don't know what's going on. 12-4 run by the Portland Trailblazers, and... Listen, this game ain't over. I don't care what nobody tells me. Monte Morris to the basket, misses. There we go. I'll take the putback. Cutting the lead right back down to 10. Lillard is really cooking us right now. He's tired. Oh, my goodness. Please don't let him get that short. Finally, a missed three-pointer by Lillard as I get it inside to Kali Stein. Nice find. Door in one. That should help us get our offense rolling. Listen, PS Compulsion is never out of the game. One defensive stop at a time. Harris for three. Wow. Was that a three? Oh, no, that was a two. Back down by 10. This Portland Trailblazers team is not missing on the offensive, and I could tell you guys that. Nice find inside to Kuzma. That's easy. I'm just trying to keep the game. Without Lillard in the game, we should be able to rack up on some defensive stops here in the fourth. 
They're going to Hughes. That should have been a block, but he cannot get that shot to go. Getting the ball to Bradley Beal. I want to pull up for... Oh, I got a perfect release on that? Let me find out. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Bradley Beal to the basket again. Yo, Bradley Beal is taking over. 21 points tonight. I think Lillard has, like, at least 25. This is basically Bradley Beal versus Damian Lillard this game. But let's see what the Portland Trailblazers got on this possession. Without Lillard in the game... We should be able to catch up. There we go. Excellent steal. Up ahead to Josh Hart. Easy layup. Re uh, yo, Ranchage. Oh, yeah. I'm getting all the way to the... I thought I was going to draw the foul. And Hendricks misses two. Really? You guys were right there. Come on. We need every bucket we could get. Lillard inside. Oh, no. Come on. 31 points right now for Damian Lillard. Bradley Beal only has 21. Because I'm going to be on every possession. I do not care what you guys say. Bradley Beal. Yo. He's getting to the rim with. Come on. Oh, I see you, Hendricks. Pulling up. Cannot get it to go. Come on. We're right there, bro. Four-point lead. Let's see. What do I have off this? Oh, Ranches is open. Perfect release. Off the inbound for three. It's a one. I don't care how tired you are, Beal. You got to give us the lead. Bradley Beal all the way. Bradley Beal, 25 points. Taking it to the basket once again. We come back to take the lead. Okay. Oh, wait. Come on. Damian Lillard pulling up. Oh, man. They get the lead right back, but I'm driving with Beal again. I'm driving. Oh, man. I'm not going to score. Wait, who's this wide open hard? Do not miss. Let's go. We retake the lead this time with a two-point lead. Let's go. I'm hyped up right now. Crowd chanting defense. Lillard not passing. Oh, there he go. McCollum for three. Wow. Sends the bench. Yo, this game is extremely clutch and extremely lit. I'm taking it to the basket with Beal again. He got it. We retake the lead. <laughs> Yo, I'm having too much fun right now. Ball in the hands of Damian Lillard. He has been destroying us all game. Lillard with the right hand. Portland takes the lead. I cannot make this up, bro. This is why you guys should be subscribed to my channel. What a lit game. I am sticking with Bradley Beal. Should I put it up? Now nah, I'm gonna kick it out. I'm probably gonna get blocked. But I'm sticking with Bradley Beal. About to run that Beal for pick and roll. Beal, all the way! We retake the lead right back. <laughs> Whatever we do, please do not give up a three. That's all I'm worried about. Lillard shooting a three. Of course they're going to Damian Lillard. He is the man of the hour right now. It's Lillard versus Bradley Beal. Should I bring the double? I'm thinking about bringing the double. I got to get the ball out of the hands of Lillard. Wait, what kind of... What just happened? Lillard inside to Clark, and they get the lead right back. Clutch time here in Washington. Let's see what we got. I'm going to Beal. I do not care. Beal inside. Three seconds. Beal to the basket block. And we... Oh, wait, no, we got time. 0 0.7 seconds remaining. We got time. I'm not going to call a timeout. We have one more timeout. I'm going to try to get to the back. Oh, Beal! For the win! Let's go! <laughs> wait, they're going to review it. No, I got that off in time, bro. I definitely got that off in time. And the review screen isn't even popping up. What's going on? I don't think they they counted the bucket. I think I got it off late, but nah, I had to. I got it. Oh, they overturned the call. And ladies and gentlemen, the buzzer beater is good. Bradley Beal with the game winner at the buzzer. I didn't even expect him to get to the basket like that. Look at that. What are you doing, CJ McCollum? He's sleeping. Beal inside for the win. What a finish and what a game winner. Bradley Beal right there by the basket. Easy layup. And we get the W after that clutch bucket. Buzzer Beal. Oh my goodness. This game was one of the best games I ever played in all honesty. This was a good team win and good team effort as always. But ladies and gentlemen, 
The only player I'm worried about right now is Bradley Beal. Although Brandon Clark had 11, Dwayne Hendricks with 12 rebounds, 10 points. Bradley Beal, 12 of 20 from the field. Four assists, two rebounds, 31 points. This one was really a duel for the ages. Shout out to this Blazers team for giving me a run for my money. CJ McCollum did his thing. That Clark dude did his thing as well. But Damian Lillard, 13 of 27 from the field, 10 assists, 35 points, knocking down some tough three pointers in my face. Bro, this one was a duel for the ages. And I don't have much else to say other than that. Lillard pouring in buckets, Bradley Beal pouring in buckets and if i had normalized play to simulation stats for my gm both of these players probably had more than 60 in all honesty seven minute quarters probably would have each of those players with more than 60 amazing bro one of the best games i played on 2k yet let this game be a prime example as to why you guys should subscribe to my channel if you even unsubscribe this is a reason why you should come back to my channel because although i know a lot of people do not like when people play through the my gm or my league games on this channel the gameplay is always extremely lit and that game right there should prove it to you guys one of the most clutches and fun games i've played on nba 2k yet coming down the stretch it was just shot after shot after shot bro that's just leave a comment for me in the comment section below leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't click on the playlist on the screen and check out some of my other content you guys would not be disappointed i'm lost for words right now that was one of the best games i ever played ladies and gentlemen i'll see you guys in the next episode or the next video this is the prince of youtube signing out let's go wizards